Hey, happy Wednesday, it's video time again. And today I'm going to discuss with you three really essential elements when it comes both to home buying and home selling that you really need to keep in mind. The first is lifestyle. A lot of people get really focused on, I need three bedrooms, I need two bathrooms, I want two story, all of these things, and they forget to, to think about how they're actually going to live in the home. So for example, do you like to garden? Um, do you want to upkeep a backyard or would you really prefer more of a low maintenance yard? Um, is the upkeep practical? So I know I've had plenty of buyers who are approved for a much larger amount or much larger home than what they actually need. So considering that when you spend that extra money, you may also be making yourself available to a lot more upkeep in the home. So just a larger space to clean and maintain and repairs and all of that. And um, also accessibility is really important. So if you travel a lot and let's say you're gonna have um, people in and out to, to help while you're gone. So there's two elements to that. The home may be vacant a lot. So what kind of accessibility is there to the home for people to break in? And then also if you are gonna have the dog sitter and the gardener and all of these other people coming into the community, well, if it's gated, that could be an issue if the gate code changes every single month. I'm in escrow on a home that's just like that. That can get a little frustrating if you've got a lot of people that you need to give that gate code to. So think about these things in lifestyle, okay? Second, is your future plans. So we typically buy a home that suits our needs for right now, and that's great. But if you're planning to start a family in the very near future, you need to consider that you might need a slightly larger home once that becomes a reality. And can you afford that larger home now, rather than going and having to sell and buy a new home a year from now or even two years from now? Uh, another one would be the flip side, so empty nesters. You may have some grown children that are gonna be out of the house in the next year or two. Could you squeeze into a slightly smaller home now, knowing that once they're out, you're gonna have all the space you need again, rather than having to go and sell again and buy again in a year or two. Um, also, I meet with a lot of people that are gonna be retiring in the next couple of years, and that might involve more travel. So again, with accessibility, once you're traveling and you're not home as often, is this going to feel as safe to you? Do you feel like the neighborhood is safe and you're gonna be okay having people come in and out if necessary in that particular home? Finally is resale value. And this is something that I always urge my buyers to really focus on. And then also something that home sellers need to consider some of these things too. So as a home buyer, um, what you're comfortable with and what you're okay with may not be the same for other people. So you might be okay with a neighborhood that's a little run down, but be aware that that's gonna shrink your buyer pool. You also might be okay with street noise. I happen to be one of those people. I don't mind street noise because I lived on a busy street for a long time. And I know that you just, after a week or two, you, for, you don't even hear it anymore. Um, airport noise, those types of things. You may be okay with it, but again, when you go to resell the property, you might find that some buyers aren't. So keep those things in mind. Also, schools may not be important to you, especially if you're an empty nester, but they may be important to your buyer. So all of these things need to be factored in. And of course, as a home seller, what's most important is you have to think like your buyer. So the things that you're okay with or that you may not like could be totally different from the person that's coming to buy your home. So take away all of your opinions and make sure you're thinking about what the buyer's going to see when they come into your neighborhood and into your home. For example, if you do live in a really great school zone, you're most likely going to be marketing to family buyers. So just make sure you and your agent come up with a strategy so that your home really appeals to that buyer's market. And that's all I have for you today. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I would love the opportunity to show you how I can help and be a part of your fun. So call me, email me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.